Propelled by what was described as bad governance, protesters across the nation registered bottled up anger and dissatisfaction against the policies of the federal government. The protests fizzled out after a few days in some states, while it lingered on in a few states trailed by killing and looting. On whether the protests achieved its aim, Ben Gladys, Augustina Eze, Magdalene Aigbilwesi, and Alaj Badamasi Saleh stated that the protest has not changed the ugly tide in the country. We are still hungry. Things have not changed. We don't agree. May, may dramatics come down. Things they dead, dead again. No. No. We not change again now. Nah. Everything not change. Everything just they rad, they rad, they rad, they pop. We have not achieved anything by the, by the protest. Because what the president said is not what the masses want him to say. These respondents, Senator representing Edo South, Neda Imaswen, Barisa Osamuyi Ibude, and a constitutional lawyer, Adams Aliu, asserted that apart from being the constitutional right of the protesters, the leaders have been forced to sit up. It was a good thing that we allowed people to vent, and rightly so because of what is going on in the economy, in the economy today. And it's also worthwhile because of what, uh, what the people, the youth, says they wanted. Uh, at least the, 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 the president has come out to say that he has heard them. I would say the aim was not achieved, but a message was sent and the president was forced to talk to Nigeria. Even if the reason death threat of the protest has not been implemented automatically, but signals are there, action speaks more than voice. The true noted that the only aspect of the protest that is condemnable was the violence thrown up and urged the federal government to be pro the people to avoid such face up in the country? I would rather say I wish it was avoided and that it be avoided in the sense that if the people feel uh, satisfied with the governing of the country, uh, they won't have any need to uh, protest. We saw where senators' houses were being uh, broken into, where House of Rep members. Houses were being vandalized. So that alone is enough for our leader to sit up. The planners of the protest elongated this monotonic interest. It's, for, it's blossomed and flourished for the first two, three days. Thereafter, people got tired. According to the respondents, the fact that the attention of President Bola Tinubu was caught by the protest is enough to celebrate. Clement Akasia, EBS News.